pressure flow hypothesis. As we look around in a forest, we can see a variety of plants that can synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis and hence are called autotrophs. Leaves of plants play significant role in the synthesis of food. Here is a section of a leaf. When we look at it closely, we can clearly see the mesophyll region, which is composed of compactly packed palisade cells and loosely arranged spongy cells. In the presence of sunlight, carbon dioxide and water enter these cells and are converted into sugar, that is food by the process of photosynthesis which diffuses through the cells or bundle sheath into the phloem. The phloem in turn translocates food to different parts of the plant for their growth. Thus it is clear that leaves of the plant synthesize food and are therefore referred to as source while the remaining parts of the plant like stem, branches and root etc. to which food is translocated through phloem are called sink. Let us now understand the structure of specialized tubes called phloem which translocate food from leaf to other parts of the plant. Phloem is basically composed of companion cells and sieve tube. The sieve tube in turn is made up of numerous sieve elements that are stacked one above the other forming a long column. Each sieve element has perforations in its sieve plate separating it from the adjacent sieve element. These perforations aid in the flow of food from one sieve element to other. Near the phloem lies another tissue called xylem that assists in the transportation of water in the plant. Let us understand the mechanism of translocation through a simplified view of leaf section. The glucose synthesized in the mesophyll cells is converted into sucrose. This sucrose enters the companion cells and then is loaded actively into the sieve tube, drawing energy from ATP. This results in increase of solute concentration in the phloem and decrease in water potential. Due to osmosis, water in the xylem vessel, which contains less solute concentration, moves into the sieve tube having high solute concentration. The solution of water and sucrose thus formed is called sap. The entry of water into the sieve tube increases the turgor pressure which eventually causes the mass flow of sap from the source that is leaf to the sink that is root. In the sink region, sucrose moves from the high concentration region that is sieve tube element to the companion cells with low solute concentration. This results in increase of water potential in the sieve tube element causing the water flow back into the xylem thus decreasing the turgor pressure in the sink. Therefore, it is clear that the pressure causes the translocation of food from the source to the sink and this hypothesis is known as Munch's pressure flow hypothesis. Summary Leaves are the site of food synthesis and are referred to as source. The remaining parts of the plant like stem, branches and root to which the food is translocated are termed as sink. As per Munch's pressure flow hypothesis, sucrose from the mesophyll region of the leaf is loaded in the companion cell and then into the sieve tube element utilizing ATP. 
This increases the solute concentration in the sieve tube element, due to which water enters the phloem from xylem by osmosis. This causes the increase in turgor pressure, leading to the mass flow of the sap from the source to the sink. In the sink region, the sequence reverses. The solute gets unloaded to companion cells, increasing the water concentration in the sieve tube. The water from the sieve tube moves to the xylem by osmosis. Thus, it is clear that food flows from the source to the sink due to pressure and the xylem recycles water from the sink to the source.